Buenos dias, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel. Uh, my name for the newcomers is Didi Tehutu. Yesterday, I became 43 years old, man. Yes, I, you can see I had a little bit too mucho rumo e tequila. It was a beautiful birthday. We had 20 people, barbecue, music, all that stuff. But you will see that tomorrow in the video that we will be creating about that, guys. Today's video, shorty A, because yes, I can feel the sun burning on my head and uh, the rum is not always good for your head uh, I'm making a video short TA video uh, five charts beautiful charts I'm going to walk you through these charts to show you why I think that there could be a reversal at the moment in Bitcoin but also something really cool that I discovered into the charts that yeah, you should see you just need to watch the video completely till the end because it's going to be a very interesting I will drink a zip of my coffee and I will jump into the new chart and I'm going to show you my Bitcoin bracelet but I also received for my birthday a family Bitcoin family logo bracelet now guys how cool is this beautiful but let's jump into the charts while I start to zip my coffee BAM Hmm. Ah, beautiful. The four hour chart, guys. Like I said a couple uh, of days ago or even a week ago, we are going to follow that white line. I told you that day we go up, we will come, retest, and we go up. We are pretty follow, uh, following this line, you know. We are go we went up, we retested over the other red line, and now we are going up slowly. Um, it, it's not going to perfectly follow the line in this uh, like time, days, but um, I also saw but I don't know if I completely need to agree with it. But if I look at it, this also looks like a beautiful um, head and shoulder pattern. Not a beautiful, I, do, I must not say beautiful, but like um, a head and shoulder pattern. And it is not the most beautiful head and shoulder pattern. That's what I need to say. But what if it is folding out now to be a head and shoulder pattern? That is a possibility. It's not the most like clean one, but you kind of can see one. And if that would be a head and shoulder pattern, uh, oh my mouth is really dry. Yes, I know. Then we should break out, and we could break out with uh, the amount of this, which uh, would be a green line in my opinion. I don't want to be a red line. I did it. I want to be a green line. Yes, a green line, and that would bring us around the 48 to the 50k area. Again, it's not a clean one, but it is one, and it can happen and if we look at the uh, red line this one that is going crossing through it it's a 21 moving average we are finding support above that one we tried to break it yesterday and we tried to break it again but we are finding support that line is going to go up 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 and there will be a moment that we need to break out of these patterns however you draw the patterns there will be a moment we need to you know break out we are walking into a huge resistance but resistance is there to be broken let's jump into the next chart bam this one this one already talked about it with a few times you know these are the 25th dips that we see every time and the 20 fifth of the month yes the dip was there we are coming back and we are slowly trying to break the 200 day moving average this is the 200 the red line and the 200 day moving average that is the one that normally we um, find support on or if we break it we go into a bearish run and now we are fighting it if you can see i can zoom in a little bit more didi that's why uh, you have a laptop and two fingers you see we are trying to fight that one if we break that one guys expect fireworks i think we will break it again test it again and then bam go up again like that i think then also the blue dot will appear and maybe and then we will have a 12th time that the blue dot appeared in the history of bitcoin and then it would be a huge moment to buy into bitcoin again next chart bam going to go faster this is the weekly chart before was the daily chart the weekly chart just look for a second at this area please at this area just look for a second at this area 2013 look how this one came up round down and then follow the line like that just look at it and now look at what is happening now at this area does that look similar round go up 
broke down to the lines, maybe sideways. If we would copy that move that I just drew, that uh, the one from 2013, so then I would paste that on there. One more to the left, Didi, because I know I need to do it then like this. Then this would be going as it is, if this would copy the 2013 move, guys. It would be doing it like that. I'm not finding my words because of the run. I will zoom in so you can see exactly why. This is the candle that broke down below the green line. That was the 2013 candle as well. Then we got a red candle down below the one in 2013 with a wick above it. And then after that, we start to break that green line again. The two, and there's a 21 EMA, guys, the green line. And then we went slowly up. That is the move if we copy 2013. And for me at the moment, it also looks like the COVID dip, this V-shaped uh, dip that we made. But if you look on the bigger picture, on the weekly chart, I can see this round move here as well. Round move here as well. Let's jump into the next couple of charts. A few more and then I will go for a very green healthy drink or something. <laughs> I'm sweating and I'm feeling really, really great this morning. <laughs> Let's jump into, bam, these charts. Okay, I'm going to make my face a little bit smaller for this series of charts because um, I think my face is not that important now. Um, these are glass note chart guys these charts I'm going to share with you because I want to show you um, Which signs we could see that Bitcoin is reversing, you know if we look at this one the total supply that was active uh, in, in the in the last week to the one month eh, seven day moving average in this time before we dumped we were um, Before we dumped in the price guys. Sorry. I need to draw we were at this area and then we start to dump bam yeah, and that is when the price afterwards go went down as well here. So we need to recover this all the way back to the area where we were. If we do that, that was the first sign that we are recovering in the Bitcoin price. You can see that this one is going up like that. So, you know, we went up, support, went up, support, went up, support, went up. Now, now maybe this one is going up again. That would be the first sign. Oh, what a drawing talent you have, Didi. Uh, bam! this one also i just need to check my face yes my face is in the screen man you are getting better and better every time again this one is the balance on all exchanges the balance on all exchanges was huge over there before that we saw the crash over there the balance on the exchanges went downwards in this channel and we now broke out of the channel again and we are moving upwards so we need to go back again to that level that we were over there and that's a second confirmation for me that Bitcoin is doing something very positive. Next one. Bam. Really cool chart. The adjusted SOPR. Also, we can see the high where we were before the huge uh, dump that was over there. The top over here of the SOPR, that is one. And then, you know, we broke the, the one level and then we went to the bottom. And now we are reversing over there. You can see we are going up. But we need to break that one level again. And when we break that one level, this line over here, when we break that one level, that means very positive. That means also the price will continue to rise. That is a reversal of that bullish pattern that we want to see. And now we were in this one i think yes this one and then this one my face of course is again not on the right base here you also can see the reversal guys we can see that you know normally when bitcoin prices are high over here the gray line yeah, you have the futures funding rate is like green this here then when the bitcoin price drops the funding rate goes here red and it's declining again a smaller red candle maybe even after this a smaller red candle and then maybe again a uh, green candle and that is also very positive if we could that do that again guys do i have one more chart last chart last but not least very important chart bam this one let's check where my face is on this one bam i'm going to go here this is a very interesting chart guys these are the consolidation phases for the bitcoin cycles so in 2011 you can see how the consolidation phase went like this and we had the support line that we su had support on continuously. Then you had 2013. Again, we had a line with support. You see, support, support, support. You can see the support line 2013 had a slope of 0.94% a day. The so support line of 2017 had a slope of 0.39 a day. This one, bam. Now the support line of 2021, the current slope has a 0.43% a day. This one. 
and yes I will put it a little bit down you can see we found support over there so from here this should be going up again and then maybe later again down and up that is what we expect and if you look at the consolidation phase it is exactly copying every cycles move again we have a support line during the consolidation and we are finding that support now this is very bullish to me so all of these charts are very bullish and positive to me that in combination with a beautiful full moon i had yesterday here it started red and then it became white you will see it in the video tomorrow it was amazing it was the best beautiful birthday ever with this view of the sea and that moon it was magic and i believe that we are going to go to the moon with bitcoin if it is not now in the short term it is in the long term so huddle your bitcoins that was everything for today guys if you did enjoy this video please give the video a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and leave a comment and don't talk about that i getting again drunk too much rum i got uh, yeah i did i did <laughs> hello my name is didi i'm here i'm an alcoholic no i'm not i'm 43 years and feel strong my back and my shoulder is all back and i'm going to push more out videos push out more videos every day and again again and again because i love to do that shit thanks for watching and see you tomorrow or later today again in another video bam